the opportunity once again to come through. Today we are here so to be able to learn social studies. And I want to remind each one of us that social studies is about the globe. And currently we are all suffering from a common disease in the name of COVID-19 that we are told came all the way from China. And here it is with us today we are told 881 of Kenyans have been affected directly with about over 50 of us having died so we all are urged to keep safe and wash use sanitizers and everything else that you need you have heard from the Minister of Health we are encouraged to do that this afternoon, we will be looking through social studies and in particular, climate. Our topic today is climate. And from climate, our objectives are, number one, to identify factors that influence climate of a place. Explain how these factors influence climate of a place and time allowing we'll be able to deal with list listing different climatic regions and their characteristics but i want to remind us about climate and climate we are told is the average weather conditions of a place in class one we used to see the weather today is cloudy. we would say cloudy sunny rainy windy those are the weather conditions that are recorded over a period between 30 to 35 years so in this case then what influences the climate of a place number one is the relief and attitude a latitude the distance from a water body winds ocean currents and the shape of coastline all these six factors we are going to consider each at a time and i will start with the relief and attitude relief and attitude simply talks about height above sea level if you can remember when you're in mombasa you're very close to the sea level it is almost zero. The land there is zero to five meters above sea level. At Mount Kenya, at the top of Mount Kenya, is 5,100 feet above sea level. So, this will affect temperatures, rainfall the place. And we have a good example for temperatures. The higher you go, the cooler it becomes. So, low areas have temperatures which is high that is why in Mombasa people sweat you don't find people in suits unlike in Nairobi which is cold therefore the temperatures in Mombasa are low while those in Nairobi are supposed to be in that direction so the next one is the relief it will also affect the rainfall relief rainfall occurs on the windward side of a mountain so that when the winds are coming they will blow and they will hit the mountain like that once they hit a block the air rises it will reach the cooler points that is the condensation because again it is going higher it is going to condense and they will form clouds eventually rainfall will rain it is going to drop and the winds will cross over as dry winds. This is how relief and attitude affect the climate of a place. Some places are quite wet, others are dry based on that. The next one are winds. The next factor that affect climate or that influence climate are winds. Wind, we are told, is air in motion. 
we have different types of weeds. Therefore, onshore winds, that is, the winds that blow from the sea to the land, these ones carry moisture. Right? Then we come to offshore winds, winds that come from the land going to the waters. They move, but they are dry because they have not originated from a place where there is water. Number three are prevailing winds. Prevailing winds come from the word prevail. Those are the common winds that are found in a certain place over a long time of the year. Good examples are westerly winds, southeast trade winds, northeast trade winds, the Hamilton winds, and the southwesterly winds. These are different examples of prevailing winds, and they will all carry moisture, or car they, are, they could be dry, and therefore they will affect the climate of a place, or they influence whether the place is going to be wet or dry. Factor number three that is going to influence climate is latitude. We had talked about attitude, height. Now we are talking about latitude. Latitude is width, and it is all based on the equator. Equator is at the center of the world. Now the distance from the equator is measured in degrees. You are either to the south or to the north of the equator, and that is going to affect how much rain you get, whether it's going to be hot, whether it's been going to be cold. This is explained further by what you call the apparent movement of the sun, as shown below. This is the equator. To the north, we have 23 and a half degrees north. If you go up further, Russia ends at 66 degrees north. You come to the south, we have the tropics. This is the Tropic of Cancer at point C, 23.5 degrees south. But if you go down further, you will remember we have the poles, the north pole and the south pole. But the sun does not go beyond 23.5 degrees south, 23.5 degrees north. This is where you find the area that we call the tropics. If you go beyond the tropics, then you will have four seasons. Four seasons, winter, summer, autumn, and spring. The four. Those ones are the ones that go beyond. Remember, within the equator, there is rainfall throughout the year because the temperatures are high. The sun is there twice in a year. The sun is on the equator twice a year, on Capricorn here once in a year, on Cancer once in a year. The areas that are very far away from the, equator, from the sun experience winter. We have the northern winter and the southern winter. So, this far, three factors that we've tackled, relief and attitude. Next, winds. Next, latitude. They affect the climate of a place. Remember, the climate within the equator has rain for the world the year. The north, we have winters. South, we have winters. All because they are far away from the sun. The fourth one is ocean currents. Ocean currents are horizontal movements of water in the oceans. Horizontal movements of water in the oceans. They are either cold ocean currents or warm ocean currents. Cold ocean currents move towards the equator. Warm ocean currents move away from the equator. 
they influence the picking of moisture. Remember we talked about the, the winds? The onshore winds, when they meet the cold ocean current, they drop water. The rainfall falls in the ocean. When the onshore winds find warm ocean currents, they pick more moisture. And when they come onto the land, they bring a lot of rainfall. That is why you will find like this, the southeastern side of Africa, when the rainfall, the, the, wind, the onshore winds meet Drakensberg, there is heavy rainfall in Durban and Natal regions of South Africa. We have better, other better examples that can continue to be given, but that is the effect. If you go to the southwestern side of um, the continent of Africa, we have the cold water current called Benguela. That one does not encourage the western winds to pick more moisture, and therefore that's why we have Kalahari deserts. Yes. Then we have the distance from the sea or distance from a water body. The effect of sea and water body brings the sea and land breezes. It also helps the formation of convectional rainfall. All these will affect rainfall as well as temperatures in the areas that go surround the oceans or water bodies. Lastly, but not least among the factors, is the shape of the coastline. If the coastline is straight, then the winds will just come and hit or run parallel to the coastline. And therefore, the rainfalls in those areas will be affected. But areas where the coastline is rugged or has a lot of inlets and outlets, then the winds tend to be blocked and they bring a lot of rainfall. These are the six factors that influence the climate of any place in the world, be it in Kenya, be it in Africa, be it in the world over. To conclude, yes. Now what, what, what affects the climate, climate conditions in Somalia, Somali country? What, what affects the climatic conditions in Somali country? Is it distance from the sea or is the ocean current or is the, um, the latitude? Remember all these factors work together. Yeah. They work together. There are places where there are some are very significant. Where there is a mountain, relief will be very significant. But I want to remind you that Equator passes next to Mount Kenya. But because of the height, the attitude, equatorial climate is not felt. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Because of attitude. There are some factors that will prevail over others. So where there is relief, then distance from the equator is not effective. No, it's not very fully felt as compared to relief. Where there is, remember, winds will again be affected by the presence of what? A, a, a physical feature like a mountain. So winds will be helped to help in the formation of rainfall by the presence of a what? A mountain. Because wind will come and hit here and it will then be forced to veer up, to look up. And by going up, they go to cooler places, heights, and then the rainfall falls. But all these factors, most of them will work together. For Somalia, the coastline will definitely affect the onwards coming, the onshore winds, it is going to find that you're going to find that the winds will now go down. And that is why sometimes most of Somalia is dry. The effect of the equatorial may not be felt, again, because the winds are not going directly towards that side. It's parallel. It's parallel, yes. I thought relief and attitude yes. are, is the same thing. Yes. Yes. Relief and attitude is the same thing, but you see, attitude is height above sea level. Relief is that height. This is height above sea level, but relief will bring in the issue of the mountains, yes, the physical features. Yes, yes.
Yes? Altitude. Oh, it's altitude. I think this should be corrected. I need to put in an L here, not attitude. Attitude is whether your attitude is negative or positive. <laughs> so important for us to correct that one. It's supposed to be altitude. Right? So to end up, we began by describing what climate is, and we said it's average weather conditions. We also came to the factors that influence climate in a certain place, and we have picked them as being relief and altitude, latitude, which we have said is the distance from the equator. Then we have distances from water bodies, we have winds, ocean currents, and the shape of coastline. Hope you take these notes. The next time we're meeting, we'll be listing different climatic regions and their characteristics. Thank you very much and good afternoon.